So my name is Murli. I have around totally actually what uh, eight and a half years of experience in the software industry. Okay. So uh, before presenting here, I just want to know, can everyone hear my voice and see my screen? Yes. Cool. Yes. Uh, yeah, cool. Just one a small thing. Can also everyone ping me as yes, if you're able to hear my voice and see my screen in the chat window. Uh, just a small confirmation. That's great, guys. Okay, cool. Thank you. Cool then. So now we will start it. So my name is Murli. I have totally 8.5 years of experience in the software industry. Out of my 8.5 years, actually, what I am into automation for the past six years. First, I started with QTP. Then, after that, actually, what I started with Selenium. Now, currently, I'm working on with APM mobile automation. This is what I was doing over here. So for the teaching experience, if you see over there totally for the past four years, uh, 3.5 to four years, I'm into the teaching field also. So I have trained more than actually what 5,000 plus students right now. So I'm also a corporate trainer for IBM, Visco, Cisco, and then after that for Wipro I have taken. And also actually what I used to take actually what uh, guest lectures over there in Bangalore, over there for some colleges like Bain, MIT, Cambridge, Hindustan. Those things. So, currently, actually, what this session is actually what for entirely for Java and Selenium plus framework and plus framework will be taken with some real time projects. Okay, so this is what. So real time project level, I'm gonna take two things. One is actually what Acti time, which is a project management system. Another one actually what we will be taking a travel uh, management domain. So two things we will be taking it in actually our side. So why we used to take actually what two types of framework and then why we need a real time project for that means because whenever we explain a project with a framework. Okay, a framework should be always actually what done with help of a project only. Then would it be easy for you to understand what happens in the real time industry and then everything you will go for it. So that's the reason I'll be taking with help of a real time project session only. Okay, so topics level. So today actually what first I'm going to tell you what are the things I'm going to cover and then I'll take one small topic. So the main thing is I just want to make sure actually what how good actually what the training will be. That's the main thing. So session level, first we will start with core Java. Topics to be covered. First we will start with core Java here. Then after that actually what, I'll be jumping on to Selenium ID. So what are the things that will be covered in core Java also, I'll show you. Then Selenium ID will go. Then we'll go for Selenium add-ons. Something like actually what, Firebug, Firefinder, Firepath, XPath, CSS Selector. Okay, so all these things are actually what very important things that we will spend a good amount of time on this and then you will be learning it. That is one. Then after that, we'll go for the Selenium web driver. So which is currently used. So there are three versions in actually what Selenium. One is ID, RC, and then web driver so currently we will be actually what looking on actually what id and then the web driver rc we are not going to look because as of now no one is using it that's the reason behind that okay so selenium web driver we will see all the different kinds of components that are available okay everything we will see on that then next actually what we will go for the framework level so framework level so we will cover both j unit framework and then test ng framework so jnit framework we will cover with actually what a basic one which is a very basic one very easy for everyone to understand okay 
a keyword driven framework and then with help of a and combination we'll be looking for it okay a keyword driven framework with and combination okay then after that the next one is actually what the current industry trend what everyone uses it okay a little bit a detailed level of actually what usage so that is a test ng framework here it is a hybrid driven which is a combination of data driven plus modeler driven okay so this we cover so here what are the components we will use means we will use maven and then after that the page object model concept so which is currently a trend everyone uses in the industry this is what then along with that we will also see for the github so what is this github over here is that is where we used to save our code so we write the program okay for example four persons are working in actually what one project and automating the system so i have written my code in my local system the other person has written in the local system so how everyone will get the common code base means okay so github is a version controlling system okay it's actually what a version control system so where we will actually what save the code in the github server and then everyone will take the code from there okay so github and then some of them might heard of svms okay so we are going to see github because currently in, in the trend in the market everyone uses actually what github only so that's what we are going to use here then after that we will look on for jenkins also so what is jenkins here means actually what a tool where we will actually what run the code in our cloud based level i can say okay so for example locally when i run my code in my system i will be blocked for some time on testing or automating my application instead of that what we'll do means we'll push the code to jenkins and then we can configure the code every day morning five o'clock you run the code every day evening actually what six o'clock you run the code so that actually what before i go for the scrum actually what i'll be able to get my information okay so that in the scrum i will go and say these are the failures are there this is because of actually what uh, my uh, my uh, code problem otherwise actually what a functionality problem that developers has to look on it that information which will be helpful with use of jenkins so these are the topics we are going to cover in our entire session here got it so uh, anyone has any questions in the topics level as what to be covered if everyone has understood just you can ping me as yes in the chat window so that we can see in a detail level for everything what we will be covering can everyone ping me as yes if you have understood the basics of topics what to be what will be covered okay cool guys uh, one more thing i just want to say also so today i am talking non stop okay so sessions will not be like this okay sessions will be more interactive so how we will take the session also i'll tell you the session actually what will be uh, taken for actually what uh, two and a half months for us so the session will be little bit longer compared to the other training programs wherever you go why i also tell you because my way of training is actually what entirely different so what i used to do means actually what uh, first i used to actually what cover the programming skills actually what when you want to learn so what, there is actually what a structure to learn mathematics or programming so programming level if you see whenever i write any line of code so there is a memory allocation is going to happen in the back end you guys actually what first need to know why the memory allocation is happening and when and then where so these th and then how so these things if you know actually what why it is happening so then learning any programming language becomes easier okay so this is the proper way to actually what learn a programming language so we will spend a good amount of time on this place first okay the initial stage we will first spend time on this place only so that's why actually what first programming becomes easier for you then after that actually what every topic i will take actually what two or three programs and then 
one or two programs i will execute one or two programs i'll make you guys to execute in the class itself okay so why i take in that way also i'll tell you because when you take the sessions in that level okay so when you do the programs in the class itself you will not have a startup problem so what is a startup problem i will tell you means for example when i give an assignment to you okay so when i execute the code in my class you will feel that you have understood it perfectly but when i give an assignment you will not be able to actually what start up actually what you will not know where to start and then how to write the program that's the reason i am going to avoid those things actually what in the class level itself i will make you to execute in the class itself one by one so that it will be so easier for you because i am there always there to help you so uh, this is what we have to do step by step i'll tell you over there so now what will happen now when i give an assignment it's easy for you to start it because when you guys are able to start the work you will finish it but if you are not able to know how to start it you will not be able to do practice so that's the one reason i take more time and then i will make sure actually what end of the session everyone has understood every topic over there okay so that's the main motto of this entire program so we take time but finally under percentage everyone should leave the class actually what by understanding the concepts okay that's the main thing so that's what hands on experience i'm actually what i'm going to give you in the class itself cool yes so now i'll go for the session topics level as what are the things we will be covering in a detailed way okay so i'll just increase the font alone okay so java level if you see over there first we will see the actually what very basics so we will start actually what every topic in a way that actually what i'll be treating you guys actually what you don't know anything about it okay you are entirely new to that actually what the programming or a selenium or framework or anything each and every topic will be taken in a way that you guys don't know anything that's uh, how i will be starting so who already knows you might actually what feel that actually what you have learned all those things just be with me for actually what a uh, 3 4 days so that you uh, everyone will come to the same phase actually what how, how you are then it will be easy for everyone to travel okay at initially you know i'll go very slower then after that everyone will be there in the same phase okay that's the main thing so first i'll be starting with actually what what is actually what a data type and a variable and then first before that installation and everything installation part if you see every information has been clearly recorded for you over there and then the documents are actually what with everything with screenshots only you will not face difficulties on actually what how actually what each and every installation of any software comes here in this class is being clearly documented you with screenshots only so you will not have any problem and every day session also we will be taking it and then also we will be recording it and then the recording also will be sent to you on the same day itself so that you will be able to use it uh hey bella uh, there is a question from bella so i will be teaching here actually what selenium with java so selenium with java will be teaching here cool sorry we will be covering the very basics data types variables method, methods or functions and then string concatenation string class if condition loops and then increment and then method overloading constructors and then final keyword then after that loops level we will see all the different kinds of loops and then the hooks concept level inheritance interface we will cover and then arrays we will be covering it over there interface we will be covering abstract class then after that arrays collection arrays we will be covering it then exception handling we will be covering it then after that package access modifier difference between the public private protected and default keyword and then how it is been used in the project level then 
how to encode and decode a password and then file handling different types of file how to read and write on it so all those things actually what we will cover it in java so java is actually what more easier the way how you need to learn alone is actually what is important any language you learn is easier because there is a way and methodology how to learn it that's what i showed that's what i said memory allocation part and then when you write a line of code you should know what's happening at the back end if you know these things the programming is always easier for you so that is what we are going to learn for this entire sessions here then after the selenium id level actually what we will be learning the basics of it so what are the basics here means because here selenium id is just a record and playback tool so where right now it's been supported in actually what firefox and then chrome browser both so we will be seeing the difference on both the information and then after that actually what we will create a small framework structure there and then we will be learning the concepts of framework here because before jumping into the uh, web driver framework you are understanding the why what is the necessity of automation and what is the necessity of framework if you understand learning there is easier that's the reason selenium id also we focus to make sure we understand the basics of it then after that actually what we'll go for the selenium add ons so firebug xpath firepath firefinder and then css selector everything so this is very important the add ons so that's what we are doing here uh hey, no parol we are teaching uh, sessions only in selenium with core java alone okay so not c c plus c plus plus it's only with selenium with java so then web driver level so in web driver level we will go in very detailed way so that is what is that detailed way i'm saying over here means that is here every element that we will be calling is a web element any element that is present in the browser it's called as a web element because it's called as a web browser so we call it as a web element so all the elements we try to automate like text box check box button radio button and then after that uh, there are multiple elements in the page how to get all the elements in the page get the count of it and then print the name uh, text information of it print the attribute information of it like that we have different things how to wait in a different different way wait for a page load or wait for element load or mandatorily simply wait for it like that we will be learning everything so the latest version right now we will be learning the latest version of selenium then after that the fluent wait and then after that browser backward forward and refresh over there how to take a screenshot how to close a single browser or multiple browser how to work on links and then different kinds of drop downs and then auto suggestion how to upload and download a file multiple browsers and windows how to switch over from one window to another window how to switch over from one frame to another frame and then how to use keyboard actions how to use mouse movement actions and then how to scroll in a page it might be a horizontal scroll or it might be a vertical scroll like that then after that web tables and then how to drag and drop tool tip actions over there calendar alerts different browser handling certificate errors password and encryption and decryption over here and then after that auto it how to handle window based applications like all the information we will be covering it in the web driver so that's what will be done here after that we will go to our framework sessions so here we will be covering the j unit and then the test ng basics then after that actually what we will be going j unit with actually what a framework with an and combination with keyword driven plus log for j okay another thing actually what we will be also looking for the log for j okay then after that actually what the test ng we will be using with the help of the test ng listeners and then the maven plus the maven extended reports and then after that we also cover with actually what a page object model and then after that actually what if this is a hybrid driven a data driven plus modular driven combination okay that we will be covering after that we go for github and then the jenkins all those steps so that means it will be like an entire package where you will be able to write the code from your end and then framework sessions actually what once it's been completed we also see it actually what your side 
how we will be looking on it in a detailed way. So, for example, uh, interview level, interview preparation over there, that we will be having a session over there, and then resume preparation will be having, and then how to uh, put your information in the, uh, what is it, now create times job, how to represent yourself. All those informations we'll be covering in the entire package. Got it, please? So, this is about the entire syllabus of it. Uh, hey, I wish. So, Java alone will run for actually what totally for one month. So, one month Java alone will run. The next month, actually, what we will start with Selenium. Because I told you, so Java, why I take for the core Java in one month means because from my side, first I will be taking the memory allocation concept and then I will make sure actually what you guys also execute the code. So, that's the reason we'll see in detail way and then we cover all the topics. Yes, I will be providing the recorded videos also. Okay, every session, once it has been completed, within half an hour to one hour, you will be receiving the videos recorded for that session also. So per day, actually what it's a one hour session. Uh, so Indian Standard Time, morning 7.30 to 8.30 a.m. Indian Standard Time. Got it? Cool, guys. So, and one more thing. So, how actually what I will be providing the documents, all those things also I'll tell you. So, for example, I'll take some batch. So, if you see over there, I'll just show you. So, I'll be sending it like this. So, every day, once the session has been completed, so I'll be sending you actually what the YouTube URL for it. Okay. That I will be uh, forwarding the recorded videos over there. Then after that, actually, what, what are the topics that has been covered for that day? And then if you have uh, written any code or something like that. So the code file information that I will be sending to you. Along with that, I'll be sending you some assignments also. So how to do those assignments also, I'll be showing to you. Okay, so assignments will be like this. If you see over here. So for example, if we take for Java. So write a program with some variables over there and then after that methods and functions over there like everything will be like actually what uh, when you go for an interview how they ask it so for example write a password text box which accepts greater than eight characters less than 16 character you should have one upper case one lower case and uh, sorry two uh, one lower case one digit and then one symbol it should not contain one two three like that so for this how you can write a program. So right now you might be thinking, what is this? Uh, whether is it easy or stuff? It is easy for you because you, are, you will be learning actually what? The logics of it. That is whenever you're going to write a program. So first actually what you should know manually, how you will be exploring it. Okay. Once you should, uh, you're able to do it manually, then you will write the logic for it. After writing the logic, then only you will start to write the program. So how you do that? So that is what actually what you will be learning. So tomorrow, today and tomorrow is a demo session only. So tomorrow session, what I will be covering for you means, so the logics, how to build logics. So for example, there is actually what I want to find uh, print actually what one to 10 numbers. And then I want to find the even numbers. I want to find the sum of five numbers. I want to write a prime number. Okay, I want to find the prime number. So I want to find the Fibonacci series of it. So like those programs tomorrow, I'll be showing you. The reason behind this what means, everyone will be able to understand. Don't think that those are all too far for you. Those are all very, very small concepts. How you need to write the program. That is what the basics of it. That tomorrow you will be learning it. So how to find the logic and then how to implement that logic in the program. So tomorrow session, we will be covering that only so that you guys will be able to understand programming is easier. So that's the concept. So I'll be taking a little bit of tough concept and then I'll try to make sure actually what you will be feeling it as you what it is so lightweight. So that's what programming is about. Programming is not tough. It is easier only. Okay. That is what tomorrow I'll be helping you to understand. 
Uh, yes, Samira. After completion of Core Java, I'll be starting with Selenium IDE, then Selenium add-ons, then Selenium web driver. So it goes in this space. IDE, add-ons, web driver, and finally the framework. Cool. So documents level, actually, what, what are the things I'll be sharing to you also, I'll show you. So if you for Java, let it load. So for example, Java's level, actually what if you take every information are actually what clearly documented for you. So if you take throw and throws. So actually this is an important question in our Selenium. Sorry, uh, in your code Java over there. So what is the difference between throw and throws? So I'll be explaining you what is throw and throws. After that, actually what I'll be explaining you what are the different types of uh, exception handlings we have in it and then the example of it. So I'll be showing you in this way. So then after that, if you come, so when we come to actually what exception handling, Uh, one hour per day, actually, what Purnima? That is more than enough for us. One hour per day. So your exception handling here. Then after that, if you take to read and write from an Excel sheet. So the same thing, actually, what how you need to actually what download the jar file from it. And then after that, how to work on with your Excel sheet. So step by step. So to get the row code, what are the information that are needed for you? And then the syntax of it. Then if you want to read it, what you need to do, what are the information needed? And then a small syntax, writing next Excel sheet, what are the things are needed? Same thing actually, what if you see over here for Eclipse installation over there. So installation level also will be there with screenshots I told you. So if you take Eclipse over there, how to get your Eclipse. So one by one, that will be there for you. Then step by step, I'm just running it fast over there so that anyway, I'll be sharing you these things whenever we are starting it. So this, the same thing when you come to your Selenium level, So selenium level actually what if you take xpath so this is your xpath so what are the different types of xpath different types we have parent level child level and then siblings all those informations we will be covering it over there then if it is svg maps what we need to do all informations will be here and then here we take some example I'll be showing you the same code. If I want to take it, this is the HTML for it. And then this is a child for it. And then how to draw this tree structure. And then based on the tree structure, how to write the information. That is what we'll be covering one by one. Then the same thing if I go for Selenium usage for elements. Just give me a minute, please. So how to launch a browser, the basics of it one by one, actually what? About your Selenium, how to work on with the text box, a button or a checkbox or a radio button or a drop down for everything step by step, the syntax information we are having. Same thing if I go for actually what? Selenium ID 11. So 
Selenium ID level, if you see, everything will be taken with actually what? Full and full with screenshots, step by step. It will be there. How to download, where to download, and then what are the different types of information that we have? Step by step. Clearly, it will be documented for you guys. So Selenium ID actually what is it still used? That's a question. So I can say actually what? Yes, it is partially still used. So if I come to the framework level, if you see, same thing here also actually what if you see, that will be taken in a clear detailed way. So if it is actually what a test G 11. So how to install your test G and then use it. And what are the different types of annotations we have? And then how to use the test engine and then go for it okay so sessions level how i used to actually what uh, just a bit uh yes samira so i'll be starting it as a uh, programming core java from a place you don't know anything even you guys don't know about what is programming even you're not seeing what is cc plus plus that is you have not written a single line of code Okay, I'll be treating in that way only so that I'll be starting from a phase where you guys does not know anything. That's why I told you. So if you, some of them who have known, you might actually what for the first two to three days alone, you might feel actually what you already know some information. After that, you also will come to the same phase. Got it? So we will be starting from a very basic where no one knows about anything. Okay. So this is about the entire session. So what are the things as of now I have covered for today is actually what I just gave us more short introduction about myself. So my name is Muradi. And then after that, I have told you what are the syllabus that will be covered for it. And then the way of training I told you. So how I will be taking the training. Then after that today, I also have told you, actually I showed you actually what? documents and mails how i will be sharing how it will be shared okay so that is what today we have covered okay so with this i'm going to stop it for today so tomorrow's topics what i will be taking i'll tell you so topics for tomorrow So tomorrow, actually what, we'll be learning actually what about the loops and logics. So which is very important when you go for an interview, they'll be simply asking you actually what, can you write a program on a prime number or a Fibonacci series like that? Got it. So it is so easier to do, but actually what everyone know, don't know how to start it. So this is what tomorrow's topic is about. That is, we will be covering actually what, uh, some of some number, five numbers, write a prime number, find a number is a prime or not, and then Fibonacci series. Okay, so that is what tomorrow morning, 7.30 a.m. Indian Standard Time we will be covering. This is what the session for tomorrow. Okay, so one more thing, I just need uh, an information. So tomorrow session also, uh, the uh, meeting invite also will be the same. So. I'll just show you. Give me a minute. Tomorrow's meeting invite also will be the same. So, and then I just need actually what if uh, you guys can everyone ping me in the chat window. So uh, with your mail ID, you can just actually what uh, send me your mail IDs to me in the chat window so that actually what i will have you you can privately send to me so my name is morley you can see in this if you can just send me your information so i'll be sharing you actually what the syllabus today what we have discussed right now and then also actually what i'll be sharing you actually uh, tomorrow session when we come over there so we will be actually what taking for the uh, prime numbers with no series the code information also i'll be sharing to you so I just want everyone to share your mail ladies alone today so that tomorrow we will be, I will be sending you the details for uh, entire syllabus information to you guys. 
uh, and then it will be good actually what you going forward if you can give me your gmail id because the reason begin that means uh, only if it is gmail id i can just share uh, these documents to you another thing actually what uh, in youtube if i want to give the access to you it should be a gmail id uh, that's the reason if it is gmail that will be really helpful Anyways, and also anyone has any questions on the sessions or something you can uh, unmute your end so usually actually what i will be uh, making you guys actually what in mute at the beginning then after that actually what i'll make uh, in case if you have any questions or something you can chat in the window otherwise you can unmute yourself and then you can ask me questions at any point of time the session will be more interactive whenever you have any doubts and then i'm going to clarify that uh, yes, Samira, I'll be providing actually what a sample project for you when we come to the frameworks and all those things. I'll be providing that. Okay. Uh, I got actually what some of your mail ladies. Uh, if you guys actually want in case if you want to share me your mail ID uh, later also, you can just unique dot at the rate of gmail.com. That's my mail ID. Okay, you can just share to me here also. Uh, yeah, sure, thanks, Purnima. Thank you. Cool, guys. So, who have sent actually what your uh, mail ID is, you can leave for the day. So, actually, what